and welcome to Survival Warehouse Library, sponsored by SurvivalWarehouse.com. I'm John Melandrid. In this video, we're going to show you how to recondition a car battery. What you want to do is you want to check your voltage. If it's uh, over 10 volts, then there's a really good chance you can uh, recondition this. If, of course, it's at 12 volts and it just barely can start your vehicle, it's not holding in the charge, 99% of the time this is going to work and it's not going to hurt your battery. The first thing you do is you pop your caps off. If you have a sealed battery, you're going to have to pull the plugs. Check your acid levels. Make sure that they're full. If they are full but it's not holding a charge, then you're going to have to remove this acid. Now the first thing you want to do is have clothes that you can uh, destroy just in case you get a little acid on you. Wear safety goggles, wear gloves, and always have baking soda nearby because this neutralizes acid. So these are the safety precautions that you have to take first. In order to do this you take three cups of water that has been uh, distilled at 150 degrees. Then you add one cup of Epsom salt. You can buy this at your general store. You pour in approximately one cup. And you stir. Now while the Epsom salt is dissolving and this is cooling down, it's time to take the acid out of your battery. Very carefully lift it up, hold it away, and pour the acid out. Once all the acid is out of your battery, just take baking soda, dump it into your acid water. That will neutralize it and that way you can dispose of this safely. Now that uh, the Epsom salt has been dissolved and this is at room temperature, you can very carefully fill up your cells once it's completely filled wipe off your excess Put back on your caps, secure them well, then you're going to want to take and just kind of shake your battery. So now that it's all been shaken, made sure everything has been coated in there, you want to take and put this on a 12 volt, 2 amp trickle charge. The lower the amps, the better, could be because you want this to slowly charge up. This will take approximately 24 to 36 hours to do. But always remember, when you're charging a battery, pop these caps and just let them sit there. Because it does create gas, and so for safety reasons, you just want to lightly put them on there and charge it up slowly. Once it's charged up 100%, even then, you could take and put it aside for a day, test it to make sure that it's holding a charge. And this works 99% of the time. You can actually do this uh, up to about four times before it just won't work any longer. That should do it, and I'll see you on the next video.